Space Rangers also have double-sided spear things? No, 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 don't go, don't go, because the visual spectrum of light is so unreliable than, than seeing the fear pheromones. No, that's, we couldn't, we couldn't have them do both. No, the, the fear pheromones, that's, that's, that's what we're like. No, infrared, ultraviolet, no, 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 fear. Let's just stop there. That, that's it. Apparently, that would have fucked up the blueprints. No, 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 we're just, we're just gonna end it there. Apparently these monsters also have no short-term, like, exactly no short-term memory, because this thing is literally straddling Jaden Smith. Then he stops fearing, and the monster's like, what? Where? Who? Huh? Well, it's gone. Huh? And then, like, it, it has no, he has no clue. So instead of, instead of wearing biohazard suits, like you said, no, they have to learn how to stop fearing. They have to go into a zen state. Or, you know, and then, go ahead. They have these double-sided spears that shoot out blades on both ends. But this is the future. Why don't we have, like, Guns? No, they don't have guns in the future. This is supposed to be about a thousand years later. Why don't we have phasers or some shit? No. That, guns would be cheating. Or they don't have robots. No robots to fight them. That wouldn't be fair. And by the way, this ship has everything. Everything on it. Except more than one fucking emergency beacon. Look at it. This ship... They crashed the ship, okay? And this, by the way, was bullshit. Okay. The ship, they, 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 they're, they're going somewhere. I don't know what the fuck where. They get caught in an asteroid storm. And the tail of the section gets torn off. And this is right away where things get bullshit. So, they're like, okay, so Will Smith, he tells his son to strap in. And then the tail section gets torn off. And then Will gets... Sucked out the tail section of the ship. That scene in the trailer. Yes, yeah, the scene in the trailer where Will gets sucked out the tail section. Ship crashes. So, Jaden he wakes up and he's like, oh, "Dad, Dad!" He gets up and then he he goes like ten feet away and there's Will. Th then there's his dad. And you're like, "Wait a second! He got sucked out the tail section. He's right there. What? How?" Like we no we just like we saw him like. I'm cipher rage lol. Yeah, he's like he's cipher rage. Apparently, he like, like shouldn't he be with the tail section? Like, that makes no sense. Like, should, he should be with. In fact, you you wonder like if he should be uh, if in another cut uh, like in, the, in another edit of the script he should be with the tail section and he's trying to like, if he's trying to talk him, to the tail section. If I hadn't have known there was no Shyamalan twist in this, I would have thought that that Will Smith was just the mental reconstruction by Jaden. That's what I thought. Guiding him through, and then you know, once he gets the beacon and people come rescue him, he'd be like, "Where's my dad?" And he's like, "That's what I thought." He'd be like, "General Cipher Rage died three days ago." What? That's what I thought. If there was a twist, that's what I thought it was. Was like. He, he wakes up in the, in the wreckage, and he, like, hears a signal on the radio. And he's like, Dad? Dad? And he's like, yes, I, I'm in the tail section. You gotta come get me. I have, a, I have an emergency beacon. And he, like, he goes to the tail section, and he finds the beacon, and he finds his dad, but his dad's been dead for days. And he's like, Ah! And he like he's been internalizing his dad, but he's made his dad proud because he internalized all his lessons and stuff like that. That's exactly what I thought. <coughs> and in fact, I bet in an earlier cut of the script, that's what happened. But yeah, that would have made so much more sense in the script. And I bet in an earlier draft of the script, that's what happened because it makes so much more sense. But no, like. Somehow he's in the head section of the of the ship now, even though he got sucked out with the tail section. I don't he got know. Sucked out to get sucked back in. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow I just made a better twist than Shyamalan did. Uh, from what I hear, that this was actually supposed to be a Will Smith story that M Night Shyamalan touched up, because that's exactly who you want to punch up your script, M Night Shyamalan. Okay. 
So, back to the ship. But it begs the question, if he has to go to the tail section to get this magical distress signal, which can shoot across the galaxy. This thing is amazing, by the this way. This thing is amazing, because it sends a shockwave through the galaxy. You yeah. see it, it's this blue wave this that thing, shoots out. This thing shoots a beacon bigger than the Earth. <laughs> it's this supernova that shoots out across the galaxy, and you see it. Okay, why didn't they just send that distress signal before mm -hmm. when they were crashing? They could have done this at any time they were crashing. They could have been like, boop, <laughs> No, no. Because, no, they seriously had like 10 minutes before they started crashing to like pick this thing up out of the wall and then like, boop, <coughs> boop. No, they're like, they could have sent a signal any time before this. No, of course not. They could, they, they could have sent this thing... They could have, like, broadcast the location at any time. No. Now, let's just land. Of course not. We can't at the press. <laughs> Can I tell you that that is one of the worst running gags in your show? Is it? Yes. <laughs> you don't like that? It wasn't, the, it wasn't funny the first time. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Okay, but this ship, this ship has everything except multiple distress beacons. Because, like, so he's like, you gotta go to the tail section of the ship. It's got the only other distress beacon. But, he's like, okay, so we got this thing. But everything else works. So he's got this, he's got this scanner that can detect that his leg is broken. And by the way, it's like, oh, you need an arterial shunt. And it tells him how to use it. And it's like, so he has these, he, but he also has these, uh, these probes that, remember those probes that launch out the hull? Like these camera probes that are like all over the exterior of the ship. Remember those like, they're like all over the, the exterior of the ship. Like he hits this, there's like one button. He like hits the button and like the entire exterior of the ship, they're like these little, like, like uh, starfish robots that like detach and they like fly all over the place and they apparently in the future we've become more like Lex because we have a bug ship and starfish sensors and yeah. skin doors and I can't believe I had to reference Lex but, but there the, we go the ship is covered in them like just waiting for this one opportunity to like boop <laughs> And so they, like, cover the planet in these really convenient cameras so that, so that Will Smith can watch him go all over the place. Because, that you know, this one circumstance that we need them, he has them. Right? So he has these. And, and the, uh, the, the air filtration uh, uh, birth control canisters that he has, you know... We only have these six in this section of the plane, but in the tail section, we have a whole dozen of them in this one. Because, you know, this one time we land on Earth, oh, we're going to need a whole lot of these. You know, this one circumstance we land on Earth, we're going to need a lot of these. So, you know, like this whole ship is like really specifically outfitted for this one time we land on Earth. You know, um, the, the first aid kit that. They, the, the first aid kit that he takes with him, there's like three things in it, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the anti-toxin kit that he brings with him. Yeah. Keep in mind, the ship was not meant to go to Earth. No, it's not. It, it's not going, at all. It, this, this is just survival gear for wherever you land. And so Jaden's walking around and he gets this little leech on his hand that releases a this toxin. Little, yeah, this little slug on his hand. And so... He's, he's, his father senses that there's toxin in him, and he's like, son, you've got to get the anti-toxin out. So he pulls off his backpack, and in his backpack, there's literally three things this in there. This huge backpack! There's three things in there. One is an air breather kit. One is like a little med pack thing. Like this big. And then the third thing are three needles specifically titled anti-toxin. Needle one, needle two. And 
I guess they brought specific antitoxin for this little thing that's on Earth. Yeah. And lucky they picked that one because, like, yeah, this specific antitoxin for this one slug on Earth. Because, like, yeah, they, they got that one, this whole backpack for those two needles. He pops that fucker open, and wow, lucky him, because you needed that whole backpack for that. It, it jacks that in there, it works out great. Because you needed that whole backpack for that. And the, I, I don't even know how he damaged those the little air filtration things. They just were broken when he got them. What, what else was in there? The elf, the, like that whole backpack the for the air filter? Mini air, uh, little mini med kit. It's like the size of a little Kleenex travel Kleenex tissue packet. But it was the air filtration and the antitoxin, that was it? And the little med kit. There's, and there's two, there's the little needles for the antitoxin and that the whole, med kit. That whole thing for that. Yes. Shit. No gun. No, like, no nothing to start a fire. No food. That was another thing that killed me about that. No food. They talked that there was that whole thing about air. And there was like no mention of food or water. He never carried a canteen with him. He never carried any kind of like hard rations. And that was another thing that bothered me about this. Like they they put so much emphasis on air. Like you need to bring these you need to bring these air filtration canisters to coat your lungs to breathe or you'll die. And so, no, they were like, you, you need, because you'll die, man, if you don't have enough of these. Because they were measuring it by minutes. They're like, if you don't have this, because we're measuring it by minutes, you'll die, man. And so, like, because, you know, he ran out, and he was like, uh, 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 and so, like, it was like total recall, you know. Um, so, like, yeah. Um, so, like, but I was like, why is the air so bad? Because if you look around on this planet it's earth and you're like okay well earth got fucked up the environment's so fucked up but if you look around it's beautiful like the, no the environment's great you know what i mean like it's all green and lush and there's like never there has never been better environment like it it's, earth has completely changed too it's never it? been greener and more beautiful there's ever. like a cliff that's 50,000 feet Tall that you can paraglide off of, and oh. the entire landscape of Earth has changed. I was about to ask about that. I heard that the like little uh, Jade in here has like a special suit that shifts to whatever the situation calls for it, and he never uses it again. Yeah, apparently, like for some reason, it's like Solid Snake's camo in in Metal Gear Solid Four that kind of it phases to match the environment, but he never gets any use out of it. Like he even comments, he's like, oh. My suit's turned, like, black. And he's like, it's cool, but I don't know what it means. And he's like, oh, it's because it's detected motion. And he's like, but he never gets any use out of it. He never uses it for camouflage. And especially since the aliens smell fear, so what? <laughs> Whatever, you know? Um, but yeah, the air is supposed to be bad, but... There's like it's it's never been a more optimal environment for good oxygen. I don't get that at all. Um, um, the other thing is like the uh, the the Earth apparently for some reason freezes over nightly. Did you understand that at all? No. The, yeah. Apparently every night the Earth like hard freezes, like completely freezes solid. What's did, that ozone layer did for? You, did you hear that? <laughs> did you hear that at all? Hear what? That the Earth freezes every night in this movie? Yeah, I've, I heard that quite clearly. And I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking in my head how that works. Like, is the ozone layer depleted? Is it, no, is no, it almost well, knocked that, off its orbit? I don't know. Okay, no, because no. that's, that's not possible. And it's there's enough ozone that there's, like, tropical rainforest yeah. all over the planet. No, because so. if that was the case, if the Earth freezes... There wouldn't be any plant life. And there's like, the, the earth is covered in vegetation. Which is why it makes no sense. Uh, and, and plus, if they try to make the argument, well, these plants have evolved on this earth. 
that freezes over every night. And but it doesn't because these are jungle. This is like tropical plant life. And no, it's. And I'm looking at the trailer, and then the they have a bunch of animals that apparently adapted for the harsh environment. I think. But again, they haven't because it's really just like there's baboons. Like, so if baboons can live on this earth and not humans, like, like what? Do the baboons evolve gills? That's how they can breathe the supposedly toxic air? There's baboons and giant eagles and buffalo, and, buffalo, and there's whales and uh, uh, what else? There's, like, mountain lions or lions or whatever. And Where the hell are they supposed to be where you can find buffalo, mountain lions, whales in the same general vicinity? I don't know. And th that was the other funny line that Will Smith says. He's like, everything on this planet has evolved to kill humans. Like the buffalo? <laughs> buffalo kill humans. Like that, would be, that actually would have been an interesting <laughs> movie if the buffalo had like seen Jaden Smith and were like, motherfucker, and like came after him. <laughs> Because that actually would have been an interesting movie if, seriously, everything on Earth had evolved to kill him. But it was actually kind of docile, you know, kind of a docile planet where not everything, like, very few things had evolved to kill him. In fact, there was this one time where the baboons had, like, there was a baboon looking at him, and, like, Will Smith was like, don't do anything. And then Jaden threw a fucking rock at him. Which pissed the baboons off. I guess to I I wasn't feeling tension for yet another reason. And just to compare, look at a movie like The Edge. Yeah. It's about three city folk that get trapped in Alaska, and there's a fucking bear that wants to kill them. Yeah. That's something that you know. You know what a bear is. You know what a bear does. You know what it can do. And so... You're right along with them as you're trying to figure out, do we run? Do we make little spikes or spears and do this and that? You can understand what they're going through. In this movie, it's just whatever. It, it's oh. just coming up with whatever at whatever time. It, it's just making things up as you go along. Like the, the toxin thing. Jaden just gets this slug on him, and yeah. it has toxins. Oh no, what do I do? Oh, conveniently in your backpack, there's two needles that you can stick in. That's antitoxin. Yeah, there's tension there's, over. There's never any moment where he's forced to do anything to survive. Because, like, you'd think there'd be this moment where he'd have, to, he'd have to rely on his ranger training to survive. But there's never any moment where he has to do anything, like, yeah, you know, there's. there's never are you really made aware of a threat and then with the character as he tries to figure out how to deal with that problem. This is where you have to get, like, gritty and almost, like, really dark, where he has to do stuff that's really, really unpleasant to survive. You know what I mean? Like, it has to do, like, really gross stuff. Like Han cutting open the Tauntaun. Yeah, yeah. And instead we're doing, like, this really kind of Disney bullshit where, like, an eagle sacrifices itself to, like, keep him warm. It's, like, really stupid. Drink really? his pee. <laughs> Looks like you're going to have to drink my pee. I was thinking that they were going to do something like the Tauntaun because they make this big deal out of you got to get to the hot springs every night, otherwise you're going to freeze over. And I think <laughs> one, one No, part, they do that, seriously. They do. And I figured one part would be he's he can't get to one of these hot spots in time, so he's got to like gut open a, a buffalo like and a bear, inside. Yeah. But no, no, he just always conveniently finds one. Well, what's goofy is they never even establish the fact that the Earth freezes over until like the very very end of the movie. Like, so we never even establish that there's any real kind of danger until like the last fifteen minutes of the film. You know? Because it would have been really handy to establish the urgency of him reaching these these thermal hot spots. Because it's very, very important or he'll die. You know? But no, they don't they don't do that, so we there's no sense of urgency until the very, very end of the film, and then it's too late. You know, we don't care. But the even so 
the science of it, and I know I'm, I'm calling science on the, on, the, on this essentially bullshit movie anyway, but it's, it's, even then, it's so completely implausible that it's just unbelievable. That you're, you're, you're expecting us to believe this environmentally destroyed planet that when we get there is beautiful. There's, there's absolutely no reason why we couldn't move back there today. This planet is fine. There's nothing, there's no reason we couldn't go back there today. Okay, there's giant eagles and mountain lions. So what? People are getting fi by fine in Fallout 3, but jungles with mountain calves, no. no. I, place has this problem. I think we can deal with mountain lions. Okay, like really. <laughs> Even in this well, future with no guns, we can take care of the mountain lions. We'll just open up our jackets and make ourselves look big. Like, like, oh shit, there's buffalo. How will we cope? Yeah. yeah. I'm afraid of the birdemic there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, that, that was like another missed opportunity because there was like a birdemic there. Like with the giant eagles? There was one giant eagle, but I'm expecting a lot of eagles to kill Becky. No, but there was a moment where he's like on a cliff and you see all these birds. Right? You saw this big swell of birds, and that was like, I was thinking there was this always like everything on this planet has evolved to kill you. I was like, I I was seriously thinking like, here's where he gets attacked by all these birds because they've all evolved to kill him. No. No, because that would have been a great time for the birdemic. <laughs> no. Oh, somebody, somebody in the in the chat room mentioned Gandalf. Funny you should mention that, because when he reaches the tail section of the spacecraft, he finds the second beacon. And guess what? It doesn't fucking work! Why? Because he gets no signal. <laughs> no shit! He gets there, and he holds the beacon up, and he's like, By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> he holds it up like that. He's like, Ah, Grayskull! And he's like, No signal. What the? Like it's an iPhone 4. <laughs> this well, thing I gets like said... less signal than an iPhone 4. He's like, ah! No signal. Fuck! I said in the theater. Wait, 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 wait. This is a beacon. Isn't it supposed to broadcast a signal? You'd fucking think. <laughs> what? It's supposed to create its own signal. He gets no bars. <laughs> I said out loud in the theater. All the tedium of looking for a for a signal on your cell phone splashed across the big screen. No, no, because in the future, the beacons run on AT and T. Or oh god, we're in a tunnel. Damn five it! Minutes, five minutes of him in this movie is just him going around. I swear, like no, he really guy, does. He really does. He really does. He's like, got this phone and he's doing this. He's like, I got a bar. Can I get two? Can no, I get two? No, two. Shit! Oh, fuck. <laughs> he, he, no, no. Ah, oh, ah, oh, shit. And he, he really oh. is. He's like, wait, 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 wait. I think I get wireless, but ah, oh, damn it. Verizon wants to charge me two forty nine a minute. No, and, and no, TV's Frank. Son, I need you to find a hill or something. Yes. He literally says that. Yes, he does. I am so, not shitting so, you. So the so the the huge climax of this movie is w Jaden Smith finding a hill. Yes. Yeah. Except it, it can't it can't be Hollywood enough just to get a hill. Here's, no, he's got to climb a mountain out of Mordor. Yes. Here, here, <laughs> no, no, no. Here's the funny thing. I called this. I called this. Okay. So he goes the, the ship. It's in front of Mount Doom. It is. So, like, I have Sauron and everything? It, yes. It is. It's, There's an Eye of Sauron. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's like the, there's the ship, okay? Imagine this crashed ship, and then, like, immediately behind it, Mount Doom! 
like there's a fucking mountain of fire with like lava and like smoke billowing up and like rivers of fire and like a tower of like uh of uh Minas Morgul and like there's a fucking there like you can see Isildur and like uh uh Elrond like they're fighting over a ring and like yeah and y- you don't fucking believe me tell him there's a there's a volcano there's a <laughs> it's not doom <laughs> I swear Tell them, God, less drunk doom. person. And there's, there's a fucking Balrog! No, because he goes up there and there's a monster! He, well, goes, he faces the Ursa. He goes up there and there's a monster! He, he goes up there because there's a giant eagle and there's a monster! It's Mount Doom! So he goes up there and he's looking for a fucking signal on top of Mount Doom. I swear to Christ. So he has to fight the monster. And he, he, he finally decides... He, he finally, discovers his inner blandness. He, he finally discovers how to become complete wood. And he does this and he kills the monster. And then he, he, finally, gets a, a, he finally gets a bar. And he... She, like, finally, when he gets, like, a signal, he shoots the beacon, like, this... He, he can't just say, oh, I've sent the beacon. No. no it, it's, it's it shoots this, a laser that fucking... It's this Highlander 2 laser beam that's this <laughs> pure white that shoots up into space. And it, then... It, it, like, punches through the moon. And then... <laughs> it then blows up in this supernova ring, which you can see out. it. You can see it from fucking Pluto. <laughs> people can't just believe that radio signals travel through no, yeah. space. No, yeah, it wouldn't no, be we cinematic, a, yeah. We need a blue ring that shoots across the, the galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like... This future sucks. There's earlier in the movie that uh, a soldier wants to thank Will Smith. Thanks, wants to thank Cypher Rage because he's Oh my him. god. And, and he's in this wheelchair and he's like, Stand me up. Yeah, he's yeah. only got one leg. He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Stand me up. Yeah, yeah, because he wants to salute Cypher Rage because he like he saved him from like a fucking cave troll or something like that. So he's like he's like, Sir, I wanna thank you for saving me from a cave troll. And he's got like one leg, okay? So you gotta go he's like he's got he's got one leg because in the future we don't have prosthetic legs. Yeah. This future sucks. There's no prosthetic legs. There's not even a peg leg for this poor bastard. Yeah. It's like Avatar. Right? <laughs> oh. So, yeah. Fantastic future, and he's wheelchair bound still. <laughs> Not even a future wheelchair. He's the push, lame kind of push kind. There's no guns. You gotta fight people with sticks. <laughs> There's no guns in the. Oh, by the way, I didn't even mention this. What the fuck is with it in this future where everything is like. Everything is made out of canvas? Did you notice that? Because their ships are made of bugs or something. Their, their ships are made of fucking canvas. What? I, I, can't, I can't even explain this. Where, like, everything is made out of cloth. <laughs> yeah, I... If it sounds stupid, you're like, what? Yeah. It's like their buildings are made out of cloth. It's like, okay, okay, so I'll, I'll let me explain. I'll try. So like, Jaden Smith finds the finds the tail section of the ship in front of Mount Doom, and you think I'm fucking kidding about that? It's Mount Doom. <laughs> so like, he finds the fucking tail section of the spaceship, and it's like it looks like a spaceship, but it looks like a spaceship covered in toilet paper. It looks like someone TP'd a spaceship, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. So it's a mummy spaceship, basically. No, it doesn't look like a mummy spaceship. It looks like someone TP'd a spaceship. Like I said, it's this strange... I'm not going to use Lex because that's terrible. No one's seen it.